Here we go. Whoa! Leo, the float is losing air. What's happening, Hero? Let me take a look. A large fishing hook pierced the float. We need to get the hook out and fix the float. Leave the fishing hook to me, Leo. Good luck, Katie. There. But we're losing a lot of air. If we don't fix the float, the Jeep will sink. We have to cover the hole. What can we use? The Malayan Water Monitor. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, I'm trying to get better at swimming, but it's not fun practicing alone. Why don't we swim together? You go first, Hero. Wow, you're a natural hero. Maybe I should try it your way. Ah! It's a crocodile. There's a small crocodile in the pool. Boy, that was scary. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Katie, a small crocodile slipped into our pool. Leo, don't panic. That animal is not a crocodile. Are you sure? Of course. Why don't you come over and I'll tell you more. All right, I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here and keep watch, okay? I'll be right back. <laughs> come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. So if it's not a crocodile, what is it? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a water monitor. There are different types of water monitors, and the one in our pool is a Malayan water monitor. I see. Still, it sure looks like a crocodile. It's easy to mistake water monitors for crocodiles, especially when they're in the water. But if you look closely, they're quite different. Water monitors have a shorter snout and a longer, thinner tail as compared to crocodiles. But, like crocodiles, water monitors are often found near water and are excellent swimmers. This is because the long, powerful tails of water monitors are used to propel them through the water. Wow! Maybe I should learn how to improve my swimming from a water monitor. <laughs> Don't get too close, though. Water monitors will defend themselves if they feel threatened. I see. So, what kind of food do water monitors eat? They eat small animals, fish, and birds. But if they want to, they can eat anything they can swallow. Yikes! I don't think the water monitor belongs here. What if it eats all the animals in our garden? Well... Normally, Malayan water monitors don't live in gardens. They live in forests in different countries in South and Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Hmm. I think we should return the water monitor to its natural home in the forest. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. I'm sure the water monitor would be happy to go back home. See you downstairs. Lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Ranger Rocky! Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought a young water monitor with you. How can you tell it's young, Ranger Rocky? 
This water monitor is smaller than an adult water monitor. Adult water monitors usually grow to a length of about two and a half to three meters. Now, take a closer look at its body. Young water monitors have special markings on their bodies and are more colorful than the adults. As they grow older, the markings fade. I see. Ranger Rocky, we're trying to return the water monitor to its home. Do you know where we should look? If you want to find the water monitor's home, look for the banks of a large river. Though water monitors are land creatures, they can climb trees. And they are amazing swimmers. So water monitors usually live near river banks. They dig burrows at the water's edge to rest and hide from predators. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a small stream surrounded by rocks. And on this side is a large river. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a small stream surrounded by rocks. And over there is a large river. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to go to the banks of a large river where water monitors prefer to dig their burrows. Let's go. Hmm, there are too many rocks on this bank for the water monitor to dig its home. Look, Leo, what about the bank on the other side? Hmm, that looks like a good place, Katie. There aren't as many rocks over there. Come on, everyone, let's go over there. Here we go. Whoa! Leo, the float is losing air. What's happening, Hero? Let me take a look. A large fishing hook pierced the float. We need to get the hook out and fix the float. Leave the fishing hook to me, Leo. Good luck, Katie. There. But we're losing a lot of air. If we don't fix the float, the Jeep will sink. We have to cover the hole. What can we use? <laughs> the water monitor covered the hole by sitting on it. Thanks, water monitor. Great. Let's head to the riverbank. We made it. Work, water monitor. So, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the water monitor's home, just look by the water's edge, not by a window ledge or a winter sledge, but look by the water's edge. I see. So not by a window ledge or a winter sledge, but, but look, look by, by the, the water's, water's edge. edge. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the water monitor's home, you have to look by the water's edge. Good luck. <laughs> okay, Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the water monitor's home. Could that be the water monitor's home? Hmm. This home belongs to those weird-looking creatures, so let's continue. There's a burrow. Is this the water monitor's home? The size of this burrow is too small. This is an otter's home. Let's move on. Is that the water monitor's home? This burrow is empty. It seems like a good place. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Goodbye, little friend. We did it. We found the water monitor's home. Great job, everyone. Yay! Yay! Today, we found a Malayan water monitor in our garden.
We learned that water monitors live in forests where they build their homes near water. So we went to a riverbank in the forest and found its home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished.